Hello everybody and welcome to another episode here on Herbeck Farm 22 and the Britain's Toy Series. So, another busy day in store for the farm. I just came in to uh, check the uh, cows and the uh, and the um, water and the food situation. The food's okay, the water's lowering but okay at the moment. So we will get some more water at some point. That um, cow has decided to bury his head in straw. As you can see, I did what uh, I said I was going to do to what oh, I once decided to walk through the hay and the straw. Very good. I uh, did what I said I was going to do. So we put some hay down here and we've also put some straw here. And then uh, should be enough room for that tractor to reverse out into the trigger. I'm hoping. I must remember to turn those icons off. I, I put them on originally to uh, to uh, right, we'll climb the gate. All right, we've got a helper today doing the silage. So you remember from the last episode we were collecting grass as well. So this is uh, what we uh, collected. This is the amount that we collected, which is not a bad amount. I think it's about 677,000 uh, litres. Um, so not too bad, that should last us quite a long time with the cows. Obviously I pushed it all up with the forklift, uh, which with the um, with the uh, bucket, well fork bucket, I can't, I can't remember what you call them, but um, so yeah we pushed it up with that into a nice big heap and now we've got uh, a, a young madman in his uh, nice vest. Uh, helping out and he's compacting it. I didn't realize course the new course play had that feature in it because I was trying to record a course for course play to do that but um, it wouldn't happen. I couldn't do it. Uh, course play is just not the same as what it used to be and I used to be really good at it once but now unfortunately I uh, oh it's a young lady yet again for the second episode in a row of being sexist <laughs> anyway um, yeah so I just couldn't do it and then I was clicking for a few options and I saw that uh, it was an auto built in feature of course play the same as bail collecting so that's quite good anyway so he's doing that we or I did cut this grass or these grasses this side and the other side as well so this one went into the silage pit and then I'm not going to walk all the way across because you're going to see them in a minute anyway because I'm going to go and collect the bales but this one the next one the next one and I think there's a third one after that are all bales and then the two over there also went into the silage pit. We finished off uh, in the video the the field that we were doing so that's pretty much now all the silage and stuff done now um, for this year really because I don't think the grass is going to grow back quick enough uh, for us to do any more and it doesn't really matter anyway because as I say we've got more than enough now with this hay here uh, we're going to be going up here first, but with this hay in these fields here and the silage that we've already put into the clamp, then um, we've got more than enough for the year. So I'm not too worried now about any more silage and hay. I may have put that a bit short. We'll back up again. So I had a word with Rafa from the last. Uh, uh, episode as you can as you may remember Rafa Benitez came and <laughs> helped us out uh, so I've had a word with Rafa and uh, he apparently enjoyed his time here but uh, the uh, money just wasn't what he was used to so he unfortunately has decided uh, to uh, part company with the farm <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah so that is a uh, it was a, a funny thing, uh, that was. 
for those of you that saw it. It was uh, very, uh, very amusing. If you haven't seen it, go and check out the last episode, uh, the one with the uh, Ford and the uh, uh, forage wagon on it, because uh, it it <laughs> it was very funny. We had a follow me uh, follow us back from the uh, from the um, the shop. And uh, he uh, turned out, as you may have already have guessed, to look a lot like Rafa Benitez. Why don't we just leave that up so we don't hit the fence, uh, the hedge even. Well, actually, we should take these bales here first, and then that will clear away. But Alright, we'll know whether this has worked or not by whether it goes through, and it does not. So that means we've got to put this back on now. done it. I don't know why but you have to realign this trailer after you've unloaded bales. So I should, perhaps should have uh, showed you where these bales are going uh, before we came here but it's it's uh, not too bad because obviously I'm going to show you when I unload. Uh, actually it's just over there. I can see it from here but uh, as I say I'll uh, show you when we get there. All right, that's now work so I I think that's going to clip through. Oh no. Normally it clips through. That's quite good then. I can just load them onto the trailer. Alright, there's a bale here somewhere. So these uh, grass fields now will be left over winter and then we will look to probably try and manage another year with them and then at the end of next year hopefully the farmers move forward significantly that uh, we will uh, be able to plough these and um, and start the uh, precision farming because I, I do want to do that I'm a big big advocate and fan of their precision farming as I say the last farm that I worked on we, we followed something that was very similar to the way giants have it set up, not quite the same, but very similar, and uh, it's it's definitely uh, a beneficial thing, I think, if the farm is uh, properly set up for it, because a lot of farms that try it sort of give up after a year or two because they've they've not really set up for it. Uh, but uh, I'm a big advocate, as I say. Although it was a lot more flapping and there was a, a faffing even and there was a lot more paperwork involved as a driver. Uh, it was still a good thing. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, doing it. So what we're also going to do is, or I've uh, decided is, I'll show you again. Oh, I could have showed you while I was in the actual field. But um, I'll show you in a little while. which is we're gonna get a stone crushing machine because obviously our fields are gonna produce stones when we plough them I don't that's something I don't normally do but I decided that uh, I would do it although uh, Britons in 1985 didn't do obviously a, a stone picker upper if you like stone collector um, there is an old enough one on the game that would be in keeping with something that would have been you know sort of produced in 1985 by Britain so on that basis alone um, you know it can come in and we also have to remember that, that whilst we are doing the models and mods or well, the models of 1985 and onwards there are some gameplay features that uh, you know, I uh, I want to in you know sort of use or you know utilize in this uh, save game, and and that unfortunately does mean that sometimes I need a bit of kit that wasn't um, around 
but um, I just I just think that with the precision farming and the stone picking and it, a it gives us more jobs to do on the farm each year uh, and it's I you know I think it's interesting to watch and um, but uh, if uh, if you guys beg to differ then uh, as always you know drop a a like and a comment and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and um, together we'll build hopefully a, a fantastic series oh, I missed a bit of hay there look not good driving there anyway so I will see you in a moment after I've collected this field of bales and then I will rejoin you at the bail on load point or well, the uh, where we're putting them the uh, shed that we're putting them in see you in a minute Hello everybody, welcome back. Alright, that's got those bales loaded on. It turns out that we may now be slightly too heavy for the forklift <laughs> to pull us. Oh dear. Okay, I've not had that before. That's weird. Conscious of two things here, getting out of the gate, but also I don't obviously want to snag my uh, wheels on the uh, drawbar, so I'm sort of turning at the absolute limit. Right, I think we can make it. I wanna make it with you. Yeah, I think we're through. I really know that I could make it good. Yep, we're through. Alright, now we've got the awkward bit. Because right in front of us is where uh, I want to uh, to place them. And I'm going to have to use autoload to place them, unfortunately. Because uh, I'm, again, not that great at stacking. And they'll roll away. That's if I can get up the hill. the hill 
that's where I want to be. You have to be a bit careful uh, with this uh, forklift because it's actually got quite a good turning circle. It's a very sort of sharp turning circle, so it uh, is able to um, handle a good sharp turn, no trouble at all. Right, if we do that. Just squares it up. We can uh, go a little bit wider than perhaps what we need to because I don't, uh, we can stretch those um, bales out off that trailer. the uh, ones next door now to do which means we need to go through this yard right. what we will do is We'll preempt it this time. We'll turn the trail around <laughs> before we attempt to come out of the field. Alright, that's uh you know, it's worrying how much hay I've missed. Although it is the same colour as the uh ground that uh, I was baling, so that may be the reason why I won't we'll turn it round. Leave it there. Excellent. And now that we've discovered we can do two at a time. <laughs> I don't know why I was doing it single. I have absolutely no idea why I was doing that single. But there we go, that's what I did. And it also occurred to me on the last two bales as well. Although, given how it was getting out of the field, I'm glad I didn't now, but it did also occur to me, well, why didn't I just take the trailer up there with me? It saved me keep going each end of the field. But um, there you go. As I say, uh, in the end, I'm pleased I didn't because uh, we had trouble. Um, although it would have been downhill. It would have been down downhill. Um coming out of the field so I guess in a way it wouldn't have been too bad but I say doing two will mean that we're a bit quicker at this so hopefully Mr. Compactor Man is uh, getting on okay it'd be nice to have that done today but I also want to get to the shop and see if they would be very kind as to load two silage bales into into the feed mixer for us or even a silage bale if they would do one that would be let's put that down because we're at the wrong angle It's actually quite nicely done for me, that one. Normally if I try anything like that, they go flying off into the stratosphere and uh, it's usually about three years later on the game that I find it. So that actually went quite well. Right. I'll uh, put them there because there's a bit of a uh, lean that way and it means that they're not coming off square. Right, we'll go all the way down there and get those two bottom two uh, get those two at the bottom and then we will get these two in the middle I 
another big chunk of bloody hay mist. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh look, I even missed a chunk. <laughs> I shouldn't highlight all my, my, all my mistakes, but... I kind of do to make me what, uh, do better next time around. I'm not happy about that. I was going to sing then for you. Decided better of it. Right. We need to just come up a little bit. There we go. Oh, again, not too bad. Not too bad. Right, let's get back to the trailer. Get those two. And then we'll go across to the other field. There's no point emptying a part trailer. And then, as I say, we also need to get up to the shop and get uh, the the uh, feed mixer at least. But if they could be so kind as to give us a couple of silage bales, that would be uh, even one silage bale would be um, a real help because then we could put. Um, you know, either one or two of these bales in there, that'll make TMR and that will get their health up quite quickly because um, we didn't feed them for the first day that we had them because I just didn't have any food and then obviously the hay then in the first field got done so we were able to feed them some hay and then uh, we last episode we did the the silage or we collected the grass and we've now, oh, oh, I knew it was going to, good to be true. And then um, we've obviously put it into the pit and now uh, Compactor Man is um, is uh, is compacting that down and making us a uh, a nice pile hopefully right that's the last two bales from this field so now we'll go up to the other field I don't think we'll get all of the other field on that was quite a big field but we'll get these this uh, trailer on and we'll go get them there we go right through the uh, tight gateway actually we're not coming back here this year just get out into the hedge a lot. Hop the draw bar. We'll close these gates now as we go. Or not. You now these gates on this map are very uh, pernickety. I realise that they put the trigger right on where you would close the gate and in a way that's sort of fair enough but it doesn't help when every map you've ever played on Farming Simulator you just walk up to roughly where the gates will close to, press the button and that will shut. Bit of a rough track, that's another track that we need to do. Right. I need to uh Oh, I'll do that off camera actually. Right, the, I think these are the last two fields uh, to do now. So, uh, yet again, you can enjoy some time lapse and music. And oh, I keep forgetting that. Hopefully we should get in. Again, we'll turn the uh, trailer around just because uh, I don't want to get stuck in the field. I think this field's going to fill this trailer, so... I won't uh, go down, because I think what I might do for that field, the one next door, is I might just... Because I'm going to have to come into this field, whatever, so I might just park, spin it round and park it 
across the opening and just keep loading that way I think save me going into that field what happened oh, oh yeah I've got the uh, <laughs> bale loading on haven't I? Uh, I'll ignore that one Trailer off. Spin round and we'll get this one. So the series is uh, going uh, quite well at the moment. We're, well, yeah, the series, but um, I was actually trying to <laughs> say the farm's going quite well at the moment. We've got uh, feed for the cows now, we've got cows. I had a look um, off camera as well at the price of the uh, sheep farm, uh, which is just down the road. Uh, it could be a while before we own that, I've uh, got to be honest. That was uh, 423,000, I think it said. Um, so, uh, as I say, it might be a while before we own that. I think there was a bale here, wasn't there? No. Just a bit these two, and again, look, they're facing opposite ways, but not too bad this time. We can uh, come along here and scoop this up, and then we'll back the other way and get the other one. Ooh, I may not have left enough room, there. just lift it up because I think yeah, it's there. Right, let's have a go. I don't think I've left enough room. Ooh, I might have done. So Giants have made some uh, pretty big announcements over the last seven days or so with the uh, announcement of the uh, expansion uh, pack in November. I can't wait for that, I've got to be honest. Uh, I, I, uh, I had a look at, uh, obviously, um, the same as everybody else, and uh, I've been wanting proper carrot, <laughs> proper carrot equipment in the game for a long time and because uh, I love doing cat I'm just a bit gutted that onions aren't included um, and I really would like to see as well uh, giants do or someone at least convert the 19 uh, Grimmy GT 170 because as you'll know from my last home world video I love that uh, harvester and and it it was so tempting to upload a video of about the seven hours that it took me to harvest that field uh, of me just using that uh, uh, harvester and as I say to upload a few videos of me uh, harvesting that field but I understand that um, you know people probably don't get the same uh, enjoyment and pleasure out of it as what I do but um, I used to love the the job uh, on the uh, on the real farm. Uh, had a GT 170 on the back of my John Deere 6R with a front Harlem topper, which um, was not too dissimilar to what I've got uh, on uh, Homeworld. Obviously, that's just the sugar beet one that I've uh, converted over to to uh, cut the tops of um, potatoes. Uh, just as I say because it's more in keeping the potato one that is standard with the game it doesn't look anything like the one that I had that's not going to go so we've got to hope if we get back to the trailer with that um, yeah so I just I, all I did was was um, changed it over so that it cut potatoes I don't tend to do sugar beet with the uh, the in-game grimy uh, trail Grimmy that uh, Giants provide mainly because I, f for me personally, the uh, unloading uh, belt is a little bit near to the uh, harvester, so getting a tractor alongside and making it sort of semi realistic is very difficult because course play can't quite judge the gaps, and so therefore it ends up clipping and catching. and I also find as well the belt's not really high enough to go over tractors uh, you know if you're on a bit of raised ground or 
yeah, anyway, you, you get the idea. The, the Grimmy is, is the Grimmy Sugar Beet Harvester is not that easy to use, and and me personally, and I, I you know, I realise there'll be people out there that like it and enjoy using it the same way that I enjoy using a, a you know the uh, the Grimmy on nine the uh, Grimmy GT one seventy on nineteen, but um, I would rather Giants in twenty two. Uh, replace that uh, Grimmy Sugar Beet Harvester uh, with a uh, GT170 or as I say someone convert over the GT170 to 19 for me uh, because uh, I'm gutted I can't use it in this game uh, especially now that the uh, potato seed mods come out uh, you know that's uh, another aspect to farming that I really like but yeah so it would be nice to see giants do that but yeah I was really excited and uh, grateful in a way really that uh, giants had sort of taken that next step and started to you know look into the uh, into the veg world of farming because you know you, if you think about it you know some of the equipment that we've never had on the game you know like um, cauliflower rigs and lettuce rigs and stuff like that you know it just brings another aspect to the game and 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 as a sort of content creator now that's the sort of thing that you know I would be looking to do because it's the same as well as a sort of when I see new crops I, w I was really hoping because obviously on the sort of teaser picture that they gave us when they very first announced that a new map and uh, expansion pack was coming they showed a carrot but they didn't show no more and it said crops and so obviously with that I took it there was going to be more than one and I was really really hoping that um, uh, peas were going to be coming onto the game and uh, the pea viners uh, that again would be awesome for farming simulator uh, I think Giants uh, missing a trick there, uh, especially seen as we already have some Ploga stuff that's uh, on the game. I mean, don't get me wrong, like where I'm from in uh, Lincolnshire, uh, we, the farmers, and we as a farm uh, used FMC P viners, um, so it'd be quite cool to have them in the game as well. But yeah, I'd be more than happy to have the Plogas um, in there. Uh, you know, but just so that we were doing uh, p, you know, p vining and um, on the game, I think would be awesome. And as I say, carrots fantastic, parsnips great. Uh, I'm assuming that you use the carrot harvesters for that, unless there is a specific harvester coming out as well, or or quite how giants are going to do that. Obviously, they haven't announced nowhere near all of the stuff that's coming yet with that um, expansion pack but uh, yeah I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and uh, and it's really nice as well for someone who really is into potatoes as I say we we did them uh, on the farm and it was my favourite job really favourite time of year spring planting and then autumn harvest and then in the winter time you know you'd be uh, in the uh, cause the farm had its own factory its own potato factory and we'd be in the uh, factory over winter usually from about December onwards until March really when uh, we would start to be uh, thinking about you know um, planting uh, potatoes if it had been a wet autumn you know in December January you'd probably have a little bit of winter wheat drilling to do if the land either froze so that you could travel on it or it dried out a little bit um, if it didn't dry out we would just plough and drill it but we had a set amount of winter wheat that needed to be drilled on the farm and you know come hell or high water it got drilled uh, sometimes it didn't always go in on the best um, condition in the best conditions is that gone or is it one more to go oh, there's one more to go how's that not worked out there must have been an odd one in the other field uh, yeah, so let's say they didn't always go in in the best conditions, but we did always get it drilled. Um, so you know, it's uh, 
now that we can ridge as well and we're going to get some pre-ridges as well which is nice um, so I'm, I'm really looking uh, really looking forward to to that side of things and as I say, I think for the game purposes, it's going to it's going to be a big uh, improvement on the uh, game and gameplay as aspects, and I'm uh, you know I'm really uh, delighted about that. As I say, it'll be interesting to see what they do with the red beets and the uh, parsnips, how they're going to do that. Uh, I must admit, parsnips is not something I've uh, ever come across being harvested. I mean, to go with the carrot thing as well, and the pea thing, I guess, would be Brussels. Uh, that's another uh, specialised piece of equipment. <laughs> I can't speak. A specialised piece of equipment that would be required to harvest the uh, the Brussels sprouts. So, I mean, that would be, you know, to go with collie rigs and stuff like that would be another great addition to the game. But uh, I, I guess I'm not. You know, my dad used to say to me, "Everything's eventual." Um, so I'm, assume, you know, on that basis. Hopefully, at some point in uh, our farming simulator life and careers, we will uh, either via mods or via giants get to experience those uh, wonderful machines. Now, this is going to be tricky. I might have to. Oh, I don't know. It's managing. It's managing. It's managing. It's okay. It's okay. Right, we're going to have to get uh, backed in, so we need to press that button. And then uh, we need to, as I say, we need to get backed in. And then uh, we will... Uh, get these stacked. Do wheels not quite? Is it going to fit? I think it is. I think that should be okay. So the only thing I've got to try and do is get the trailer square to the back of the shed. Did I hit a post or did I? It didn't appear to be near either. I must have been near a post. It didn't look like I was. Right. Anyway, stop wittering, as the missus says. We haven't quite got that square look. So, in which case, I'm going to I'm going to re-square that up because I, I need that to be sort of fairly square. Otherwise, I'm not going to get the last. Uh, Last uh, group of bales. Way too close. What am I doing? Way too close. We're never going to get the bales in there. But uh, yeah, so this is, a, as you can see, is going to be the bale store for the that last field. I will do that off camera. We will go and uh, check. Wrong way. What about now? No. The easiest way to do this is to do. Uh, I realise this is not very professional. Uh, probably should have done this uh, off camera, but uh, there we go. Uh, it's still not all that square, but it will do. Oh, don't come off. Gonna have trouble getting out of there now. Mm. I think the back of the track is gonna clip that bale. Can't get no closer to the gate. Ooh. Wow. Right, as I say, I'll do that last field off camera. So we will leave that there and we will just go and check Mr. Compactor. Or Mrs. Compactor. Uh, I keep being sexist towards that girl. <laughs> Woman. 
Alright, it's flattening it down. It wasn't really what I was hoping for. <laughs> I was hoping that it was going to keep it roughly in the pile, but... Hey-ho! In actual fact, actually doing it like that, look how much more I'd be able to get in there. If you were um, chaffing really big fields of corn, with that doing that, and as, apparently as, as well, I see on there, there's an option for you to have it wait while the unloaders come. I might have to try and set that up. You know. <laughs> I might have to try and set that up. Because I'm fairly certain you could have a tractor and trailer back to the entrance here, unload, and then get the forklift and the bucket. And probably Causeplay might have enough about it to load that. To load that. And then once it's loaded it, get into a tractor and then get the tractor to compact it. And as long as you compacted it after every field, how much more you'd get. I mean this is like this was right out here when we started. It's pushed it right the way back to there. So I mean that's how much more silage we can get in. I mean again I would like to see that pushed up a bit but I'm quite impressed actually with how well that's working. So I'm just gonna leave him to it. Or her to it. I'm just gonna leave her to it. Uh, so yeah as you can see, another busy day on the farm. We'll close that gate. Or not. There we go. And uh, next time when you join me on the farm, those bales will be collected and put in here. How? I don't know, but they will. See that? That wasn't far. I don't know what I was snagging on. That hasn't gone nowhere near enough far back. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, as I say, those bales will be coll uh, collected um, in that shed. And then we're probably going to be getting on with some ploughing. We've got... Uh, oh, that was another thing I was going to quickly show you as well, wasn't it? So, over here is this bit of concrete in this field out of the way. And what I'm thinking, if there's room, and there might not be, but if there's room... Ooh, it will need leveling. Uh, if there's room, put the uh, stone crusher there, and then we can have tractors uh, come in and uh, obviously load load it up, or they can tip the stones here, and then we can uh, load them up with the forklift. Uh, that's my sort of plan. I'll put a track. Well, the tractors will create the track eventually themselves anyway, but we'll, we'll uh, get a track there and then uh, see what to, what's what of that. But as I say, we've got up here, we've got uh, this field here that you can see now. This field here. We've got to plough this. With three furrows, this is going to take me a while, so I might do this one off camera. Uh, just because, as, as I say, it's going to take me a while. And then we've got that one there, and then that one over there where those trees are. But yeah, busy, busy. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the uh, video. Hit that notification bell so you get uh, notified every time I drop videos. Remember at the weekends I always uh, upload real farming videos and, and interesting things that I find... Um, that I think uh, you know uh, uh, people might be interested in so look out for them and uh, I'll see you on the next episode uh, thanks very much and just quickly PS and all that I moved the combine into here because as you remember the combine was where we put in the bales but I moved the combine into here anyway that is it for me thanks very much see you again next time bye bye